um okay so uh i haven't done i haven't done the reading since last wednesday i think so um i'm back um i hope that the reading doesn't that the stream doesn't cut off again because if it doesn't cut off then i won't have to edit this video um which i will have to edit when i come back home after after work um oh. okay i'm gonna start the stream now and see what happens Okay. Well, the stream seems to be going well. So this is the the fifth episode. This is the fifth episode of the book club. It's been a while. It's been about I don't know four days. Uh, let me see. Six days, so almost a week, really. Um. Yeah. I think I'll have this book finished by next week, which I guess will be nice because then I can move on to another book. And also, I'll be able to do the reading in more of a text format. And I think that might affect, that might have a difference on the things I'll be able to say because there's, they, there will be more to comment on because the images in the comic book can be more apparent sometimes. You know, sometimes words are more um, abstract than pictures. Hmm. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and read the book. Read the chapter of the comic book. Oh, I already did the thumbnail for this one all right i did the thumbnail for this one ahead of time uh it's just fred the thumbnail is just fred and um vincent holding each other which was originally the base the base it was originally the uh, the thing that gave me the idea to do the hashtag bring back fred poster and um I made the thumbnail so that I can continue doing the poster again because I lost all the data. I lost everything basically. I have to do the poster over again, which is basically months of work. Also the stream cut off. So <laughs> the stream the stream cut off, so I'll have to edit this when I come back home, which isn't a big deal. Uh by necessity. And then it's just some trees. Seems like this guy was just minding his own business. And he has a rake. Hmm. Thumb. Are you still on the steps? I thought you started an hour ago. The stupid prongs are bent out of shape. I gotta fix them first, otherwise it won't take prop it won't rake properly. And there's the animal creature. Billy Joel needs some exercise. Oh, okay. Uh the animal's called Billy Joel. The American singer composer person. Uh born in the Bronx, I think, I don't know. Uh I I know he has a YouTube channel. Yeah. I also know he does interviews before his shows or after I forgot. Uh but it's all on YouTube really. Okay, so he's trying to fix the rig. Is that dog out? You keep him out of my yard. Hi, Mrs. Anders. My precious Cheeves is out for his afternoon stroll on the grounds.
If Chi's still able to get around with his anthro arthritis, he manages fine, thank you. He's only just 15 years of age. Off you go, sweetie. Frolic, my pet. Frolic. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, uh, that's the thing that I want to screen cap. Yeah. I like that. In the prime of his life, for a wombat. Go, baby. Wander, darling. Wander. I've caught that Billy Joe hopping the fence on a few occasions. Luckily, Cheese was protected in his cage. Uh, Billy Joe wouldn't harm a hair on Cheese. He just wants to play. Just the same. You keep him out of my yard. Don't worry, Mrs. Anders. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to finish raking the leaves. Finish, hmm? Doesn't look like he even started. Okay. Now he's raking the leaves. How can I work with it with improper tools? <laughs> and then he gets mad. Damn dog. And then I think that's the neighbor. She's saying down. Down you predator. Curb that bloodthirsty animal. Yeah. I guess like the animals are designed to be in contrast with one another. So this one is just white. And this one is just pitch black. I I never seen a character in a Grickle comic drawn this way before. It's it's kind of interesting. You see? You see the danger my cheese is in. If I hadn't been a second slower, who knows what could have happened. Billy Joel just wants to play. Play? That dog was preparing to devour my cheese. I woe unto you, sir, if anything had happened. I've been a member of this community for a substantial time. I have friends. Friends that would exact swift legal justice if anything were to harm my chiefs. Gently, my jewel. Gently into your cage you go. Jeez, Billy Joel. Come on, get in here. Dog's all sad. That dog. What's going on? Mr. Wifey. Hey, babe. What were we up to, my Billy Joel? Did I hear yelling out there? Billy Joel almost ate Cheeves alive. He would never hurt that little old wombat. He just wants to play. Yeah, he just wants to play. It's Mrs. Anders who doesn't know that. She's convinced that Billy Joel is out for blood. And she's threatened a lawsuit against us if anything ever happened. Ripes. That'll be just what I need right now. Between jobs and getting sued. Well, Billy is my dog. So it'd be... So I'd be the one getting sued. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Well, regardless, it'd be a hassle for neither one of us. It'd be a hassle neither one of us would need. What's on? Yeah, this comic is this this comic is going on pretty long. Let's see what happens. It's a documentary on the Arctic tundra, and they just watch it. Yeah, you gotta wonder what their relationship is because why are they sitting so far apart? Wouldn't you like to sit together and watch it? They say, sure. 
Have you thought about... Have you thought any more about Pillsburg? Everyone says it would be easy for me to transfer jobs. You could find work there. You could find work there, no problem, I bet. Whoa, I didn't know polar bears were that agile. <laughs> well, you just think about it, okay? Yeah, Pillsburg isn't a bad idea. But I'd be a bit change. But it'd be a bit, be a big change. I mean, I'm still getting used to us living there. And I don't know if it's the right time. Do you regret moving in together? No, I... Mean it's, um... No. Hm. What? I thought I heard... Scratching. It's... Is it... Is Billy Joel outside? Yeah, I think so. It's super late. I'm gonna let him in and go to bed. <laughs> That's one upset girl. Billy. Billy Joel. Get in here, Billy. <laughs> no. He's done something terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give myself a screenshot. Let's go. I really hope the audio is catching because there's really nothing I could do about it. Okay, what did he do? Ate him. Uh, Billy, go, drop, drop. Drop it. Drop it, Billy Joel, drop. What's going on? Put him down, Billy Joel. Drop. Good boy. Looks like they have to move. Jesus. It doesn't make sense. I mean, why? How? Dead as a doornail. Gone. You know, there's actually no blood or visible gashes on him. It's just dirt, really. Hmm. What are you doing? Cleaning him. Cleaning him? He's dead. I don't see the point. You'll see. We should call Mrs. Anders. You know what? We, we should let her know what's happened, don't you think? This may just save our bacon. Dressing a dead animal. How is, is this saving our bacon, exactly? It's genius. Jeeves was ready to go anyway. There's no sense in us getting sued for the inevitable. Logical, logical decision. I'll put him back in his cage all cleaned up. It'll look like he died in his sleep. But that's not right. It's a dishonest. Well, do you have a better suggestion, Sharon? Sharon? I mean, what do you think is going to happen if we call up Mrs. Anders? She's going to freak out and sue us both. She might be reasonable if we own up to it. Not only will she sue us, but don't think for a second she won't come after our little friend Billy Joel. Put away and destroyed. The end. Hmm. I'll be back in five minutes. Cook clock. Still not right. 
goes over the fence, puts the animal inside, goes back over the fence, goes back into bed. Well, that's taken care of. Are you going to look for work tomorrow? I really should finish these views out. But I mean, once that's done, yeah, I'll look. It'd be a lot easier in Pillsburg. Hmm. Why won't you take a chance? You never do anything unless you're cornered into it. Yeah? It's just bad timing. I mean, winter's almost here. You do... You do... You do what you want. Maybe I'll go to Pittsburgh on my own. Good night, it says. Gone. Has he even noticed? I don't know. Don't even think about it. It's my cereal. It's his cereal. Okay, that's enough TV for breakfast. Well, what do you think, Billy Joel? Should I check the want ad post-its? Or finish the leaves? Maybe it'd be better. Maybe I'd better look for work first. Hmm. It's a bit nippy today, Billy. No sense freezing downtown. Now you be a good boy, and Sharon will be home soon enough. No killing wombats today, okay? He's just walking. Well, that's peculiar. Okay, I suppose we're gonna see what the turn is. I don't know what's going on. Mrs. Andrews is selling her place. Jeez. Bizarre. There's no way she could do... She could know, though. Okay. That wind is murder downtown. No. Nah. Hmm. Curious. Well, I'm not really suited to any of these, although one is intriguing. Hmm. It's already taken for sure. <laughs> Damn it. Today I'm gonna do it. Okay. Hmm. Hi. Hello? Yes? I'm calling about the position you posted. Is it still available? It is? Why, well, yes, certainly. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yes. I've had prior experience. Wonderful. I'll be there 9 a.m.? Certainly. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. We'll see who corners who. With a little innovative what? With the with a little innovative? Watch me go. Hi, Miss Sanders. Okay, she just has a huge luggage. There. 
My senses are telling me that's um, Sharon's dead body, but I really don't know. Well, let me give you a hand there. And puts the thing in. Are you alright, Mrs. Anders? And she starts crying. No, she's not alright. Ah, I noticed you're moving. Yes. I've been married and divorced in this house. 30 years part of this community. Terrible. Terrible thing. I just can't stay here anymore. Ah, oh, gee. She's passed away yesterday. Ah, oh, wow. I'm very sorry to hear that. Or at least Saudi passed away. Died in his sleep. No breathing. I gave him a proper burial in the backyard. With a little headstone for flowers. That's very decent of you, Mrs. Anders. Decent. I buried Chiefs alive. He dug himself out with the last smidgen of his life, crawled back to his cage to die alone, thinking his mommy tried to kill him. Why didn't I check him more closely? You? It wasn't your fault. It's not easy to know. <laughs> she's, um, she's really in distress. In his final moments, I failed him. Husbands and wombats just aren't for me. I'm staying at my sister's until the house sells. Start over. Well, uh, be sorry to see you go, Mrs. Anders. I, Sharon will be home from work by now. So I really ought to be going, but if you need any more help moving, let us know, okay? Thank you. Hey, no problem, Mrs. Anders. Take care. Take care. Sharon, you're not going to believe it. Billy Joel didn't maul cheese at all. He just dug it. Dug him up. Looks like we won't be sued. Totally crazy. Oh, hey. I'm on the verge of employment. Sharon? Billy Joel? Come here, Billy. Where are you? Oh, it's a letter. Hmm. Yep. He's going to Pillsburg. That's it. He went to Pillsburg. I really don't know what happened. But I guess that's not the important part. Guessing what happened, it's not... It's not the point of the story to hear what... It's not the point of the story to figure out what happens in the end. The point of the story is to... Hear the story. Hmm. Yeah. I really don't know what to make of it. Um. No. I don't think so. 
Um, but I will say that perhaps, um, perhaps Vincent and Fred can be placed somewhere along the axis of this kind of relationship, right? This kind of relationship of a wombat of some kind. Maybe Fred is Vincent's wombat and Vincent didn't take care of Fred. That's why Fred is gone. Who knows? But that's the end of the reading. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This video is only about maybe going to be 27 or so minutes. And uh, read more books. Maybe I should start doing that. I should start. Uh, maybe I should play one or two less games of League of Legends a day and just read a book or something. I could figure something out.